everyone, I'm Maggie. Welcome back to my channel. I am coming to you with a Sassy Girl Aroma haul. I got this in the mail yesterday and I'm going to be honest with you. I opened it up and I was looking at everything and I thought, she sent me the wrong order. I didn't, I didn't order this stuff. None of this stuff looks like anything I would order. So I went back into my email and lo and behold, I ordered every one of these items. So... I'm happy I did. There are some, just some blends in here. I don't know what I was thinking that day. I, 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 I really like them, but um, yeah, it's just so not me. But anyway, uh, Sassy Girl Aroma from Toma, Wisconsin, owned by Tyrell and Julie Gebzik. Uh, I did get a sample in Kisses in the Dark. This to me is really similar to Bath and Body Works flannel. I, I think it's flannel. I like this. It's super pretty. It, it almost is a, it's a sweeter than Bath and Body Works flannel though. But um, yeah, it's nice. My mom was here. She looked, went through these. She really liked that too. So that'll probably go to her. Okay, so I got one bag of blocks in Witchy Woman. So happy to have this. I did get some Witchy Woman in the Round Robin, and I loved it. So for Witchy Woman, it says, This blend will make you think you walked into a spiritual shop. And yes. It's very, and these, show you what these blocks look like if you've never had them. They're just a bunch of these little melters. I have no idea really the scent notes. I mean, it's in Scentsy, it's maybe some nag, some, I don't know, musk, maybe some patchouli. It's just, that is exactly what it makes you think of. And I really, really like it. I am happy to have some more of this. I'm trying to think, did I melt my witchy woman? I don't remember now if I melted it or not. Then I grabbed Midnight Mass. It says, this cathedral inspired fragrance will feel like you've wandered into a church service with its notes of deep incense and smooth wood. This one is broken. Yeah, when she says incense, I was expecting I was expecting more like witchy woman. This really has a fresh smell to it. Yeah, this, I, it's so for me. You know, it, it's easy to describe something with strawberry and zucchini bread and cake and stuff like that. But when you get these sophisticated blends like this, I struggle telling you guys what they smell like. This smells nice. Um, with incense, don't think head shop at all. Don't think strong that patchouli nag champa. Don't be thinking that at all. This is really just pretty. Um, it, I'm not thinking tree, but I'm almost thinking like an evergreen or something. For some reason that pops into my head. Like I'm trying to close my eyes and envision where I would be when I, when I smelled this. Kind of funny i kind of do get a smell of wood yeah this is this is good so don't be afraid of the incense part of it it's not head shop it's not anything like that this is a really really interesting blend midnight mass then i picked up the ghost with the most sweet strawberry blood red berries Midnight Blooming Jasmine, Dark Plum, Green Leaves, Black Musk, and Nag Champa. Because I'm reading those thinking, what the hell? Why would I choose this? You know? 
nag Santa. And yeah, I get the nag, but this, the berries, and the strawberry and the blood berries and the plum really uh, mellow that nag out. Let's see the purples and the grays. This is, this is really good. But I still get the nag. It, because to me, nag is kind of, it's really a sharp scent. But the berries really do something different. I've mixed that champa a lot with different bakery blends. Never really done it with fruit. It's interesting. So the ghost with the most. Okay. Cool nights. Cocoa butter. Sweet, smoky blend of vanilla, creamy sandalwood, and cashmere musk. I really, really like this. My mom liked this one too. But I cannot, for the life of me, go to where the scent, I smelled the scent before. I think it was a body wash. I think it was some sort of body wash. I'm not thinking Bath and Body. I'm thinking, you know, uh, Dove or Caress or one of those types of, one of those types of brands this is sweet I don't necessarily get smoky well I might get a, a, just minor minor smoke so don't be thinking smoky as in smoky it is very body care would make a beautiful body wash Yeah, it's it's not super, super strong like or sharp. It's just, it is a very sweet scent. Just a little smoke, not, not much at all. This is really, really pretty. I would think this is a bedroom melt for me. These others, I would melt anywhere. <laughs> Winter hideout. Cinnamon, brown sugar, toasted nuts, apple butter, marshmallow, and clove. I like this one. There was something about this one my mom didn't care for. She thinks it was the toasted nuts. I do get a nutty, I do get a nuttiness. I definitely get the apple butter. It's a sweet cinnamon and brown sugar. Don't think heavy cinnamon spice. I will, what I would do with this one. This one's broke too. These were not broke when I got them. I think me and my mom manhandled them. I would blend this with stuff is what I would do with this one. I don't know if I would melt it by itself. I mean, it's, it's pretty strong. I think I really like this actually. I think I like this better than that other apple butter one that she had that I got a couple orders ago. I, I think I like this one better. It's probably that nutty note. I love a nutty note. Yeah, I really like this one. This would go with a lot of stuff. Okay. See? Campfire movie night. Donut, maple, cinnamon, sugar, spice, cedarwood, amber, and vanilla. Pink color. Okay. This one is like a maple donut. That's what it is. You get the donut. I don't know about the amber and the cedarwood. For me... I just think this is well blended because I mean it is more there's more to it definitely the maple donut but it's so well blended it's hard to pull out those other notes 
Mm. This is nice. This is a good one. Who would think to mix amber and cedarwood with donut and maple, right? Black magic. This feminine witchy blend of blackberry and tea leaves and little black dress. This little black dress, a Bath and Body Works um, scent. Okay, right at first, I got what I think is the little black dress. I got a perfumey note. Then I got the blackberry. And then I get those tea leaves. And it's, it's, it's like the aroma of tea. This is really pretty. It's definitely feminine. It would make a beautiful perfume. It's a very nice blackberry in there. It's a very pretty bar, too colors yeah this one's pretty Man, that tea leaf is so neat in there but it is perfumey so I'm thinking bedroom melt for this one as well okay. hiking trails smoked vanilla whiskey and sandalwood okay I love smoked vanilla but I, this one is not my favorite. This is not what I was expecting at all, and I think it's that whiskey. I think the whiskey and that sandalwood together give me a weird note. I will definitely warm this. See what I think. There's almost, well, hiking trail. It's funny because I do, I get an earthy note. I get an outside earthy note. But at the same time, I think that sandalwood really leans colony, Le leans colony. This is an odd one to me. This is not what I was thinking. I was thinking smoked vanilla. I... And the more I smell it, the more I smell the cologne-ness to this. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this one. But that's okay. We'll see. Grandpop's Work Shed. Cedarwood, sandalwood, musk, and vanilla. Now this one I like. This one has the sandalwood. It's, it's bright. I don't know what doesn't make sense, does it? To say that it's bright. This one's a hard one to describe. I, I almost, when I smell it, I see a man smoking. It, it takes me to just like a manly figure smoky. There's no, no smoke. There's no cigar. But that's kind of what I see when I smell this. It's not the smell of skull, is it? You know, like the chew? I had an uncle that used to chew all the time. It was a great uncle. I was young. He was old and he chewed and I can remember him spitting in that can. Is that what this is reminding me of? I don't want to make this sound unappealing because this smells really good. Huh. Very interesting. Very interesting. So hard to explain these, you guys, that aren't just, you know, fruit and cake. Um, toasted coffee, toasted marshmallow, and fresh brewed coffee. Let's see if I can handle this. Definitely. Fresh brewed coffee, a little toasty marshmallow. Not too smoky. It sweetened it up. It's a pretty toasted marshmallow. I got a bunch of it right there. 
Yeah. That is going to be nice. I'm going to love this, I'm sure. So, that was my order. It's a very interesting order. And a lot of these are really out of my wheelhouse as of late. Now, when I first started Vendor Wax, I didn't order bakery at all. I was ordering a lot of leather scents and manly scents, cologne scents. Um, so I'm really glad that I ordered all of these. Even though, even the hiking trail that I'm not so sure I like, I'm gonna give it a try because you never know. Uh, but yeah, I'm really happy to have these. And I have three more orders from Sassy Girl coming. I'm taking a break. I think my next order will ship this coming week. Maybe I think it's supposed to start shipping this coming week and there'll be two of them together. So I'm really excited about that one. So, so yeah, so all I have left to film tonight is my empties. I don't remember when the last time I did an empties was things have really gotten away from me. So I need to pull out that box and let's see what's in it and get this video made. So I will be back soon. Thank you all for stopping by.